Hello guys, welcome to another learning session. Today I'm going to show you how to make gobi manchurian. Um, gobi in English is cauliflower and uh, for that we need uh, definitely gobi. Small pieces cut like this. Then we need some chopped garlic green chilies chopped I have three medium not hot medium green chilies you can put according to your taste less more then we need some all-purpose flour uh, some tomato ketchup some soy sauce I use Ching's mushroom soy sauce it's very dark so you have to put very less then I have this uh, chili garlic sauce you can buy it from any um, supermarket and I'm going to put one and a half uh, tablespoon, not teaspoon, tablespoon. Then I'm going to use some fresh black pepper. Then I have here is vinegar. Then salt according to your taste. And then I have onions here, which is long cut onions. Long cut onions. And then I have small chopped onions. Two different ways. I'll show you why I have it two different ways. Now I'm gonna make my batter for my cauliflower. So I'm gonna put some water. This is fine. I'm gonna let it sit on a side for a little bit. I'm gonna put some salt and some black pepper in there nothing else you don't use any other spice other than uh, salt and black pepper uh, the person who showed me this recipe was 12 years ago back in India in New Delhi in a Sheraton hotel who was a retired chef 76 years old and it was very good the recipe so I'm just copying what he taught me long time ago cook my batter is ready uh, my salt and black pepper is in there you gotta stir it so that you see no lumps in there you gotta be no lumps in there and then you can pour the whole thing in your cauliflower right there There is a trick to frying this cauliflower. I'll tell you in a minute. Um, you dry it at three. Uh, you fry it at 375 degrees. Then when you see it get a little brown, like this, you lower your heat to 350. I'm gonna fry them for like five minutes. I'm gonna fry them twice, not once. That's the main thing uh, for any Manchurian. You have to double fry it. First, it's gotta be half cooked and you gotta wait for 10 minutes when it's half done. Uh, let it cool down. It's exactly five minutes. Uh, my gobi is done 60% and it's already looking crispy. So I'm gonna turn off my gas take my gobi out my cauliflower and let it cool down for at least 15 minutes this way with the steam it will it will be fully cooked back in there and I'm gonna cook it for exactly two minutes it's two minutes now uh, my cauliflower is ready so I'm gonna take my cauliflower out I preheated my oven so I have my garlic in there and my green chilies I reduced my quantity for garlic and green chilies just one spoon of each I put a little extra garlic because I love you saute your garlic and green chilies and now you're gonna put your onions in there so I'm not gonna put whole lot of onions since I reduced my uh, quantity of my uh, cauliflower so I'm gonna put like half an onion I 
if you saw me, I I chopped onions in two different styles. One was the long one, one was the small one. So these are the long ones which you're gonna put first. Now my onions are golden brown, and uh, I'm gonna put my gobi in there. Yes, you don't put anything right now. And you mix them with your cauliflower, the onions and then this all together. And uh, now I'm going to put some small chopped onions in there. Almost like a whole onion. I like onions. You can put less if you want. But I put a whole thing. There is a reason behind um, I chopped onion different way. It tastes and looks totally different when you cook it like this. So now I'm going to put some salt, very little salt because we already put salt when we fried our cauliflower. Now I'm going to put some uh, black pepper, a little bit. Time to put some ketchup. one and a half tablespoon then I have this chili garlic sauce I showed you same thing one and a half tablespoon depends how hard you want to eat it and uh, then I have this cornstarch mixture I have one tablespoon of cornstarch and this is the mixture of that you want to put according uh, to your liking like how thick you want the sauce is to be. You have seen I haven't put my vinegar yet. Vinegar goes in all the way in the last. So now it's the time to put my soy sauce. I use mushroom soy sauce. It's very thick and very strong. You don't want to put more than two, two teaspoons. Not tablespoon, two teaspoons. This is exactly two teaspoons. See how strong the sauce is? Now you want to higher your flame because it's about time to put vinegar. So you're going to put three teaspoons of vinegar because your chili garlic sauce uh, already contains vinegar so now you're gonna cook it on a high flame and make sure uh, you put all these ingredients uh, the way I put it it will give you a very different taste this recipe was given to me by uh, a very old chef in Sheraton uh, who was 76 12 years ago so if you wanna keep the dry dry gobi manchurian you can keep it dry but I'm gonna put uh, not much because I made one this was one spoon of cornstarch then I added water in there for a whole whole cauliflower I had since I'm cooking one third so I'm gonna put a little bit just to make small amount of uh, sauce that should be more than enough That gives a very good texture uh, to your gobi manchurian. It's almost ready. Thank you guys.